I have always wanted to get paid while I sleep. In the same way that my monthly bills are residual, come in whether I want them or not. I wanted to earn in a residual way, getting money whether I do something or not. I did not want to continue to trade time for money, which is really what we do when we do a nine to five job, because if we're not there for work, we are not gonna earn. I also did not want to keep waking up to an alarm clock, nothing like waking up naturally. And importantly, I never wanted to have to ask a boss for permission to take two weeks off to enjoy my life. Because that's really what we're doing when we're applying for vacation. Think about it. If your boss were to deny your vacation application, you basically have to delay and join your life until he or she gives you permission. I promise you, my YouTube family, that we were not meant to live this way. But you know what? Sometimes we have to do what we have to do until we can do what we want. There is absolutely no shame in having a nine to five job. But you know where there's shame? Whenever you work for 45 years until you're 65 in a nine to five job and retire broke. Don't let that be your destiny. You're deserving of so much more. Let's claim financial freedom in the name of Jesus and emancipate yourself from living hand to mouth. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a Welcome year back ago. to my channel, my YouTube family, my rock stars. Thank you for always tuning in and returning. If you are not yet a rock star, you can solve that problem by just clicking subscribe and we will look forward to welcoming you to this amazing family. Now, today we're going to talk about an extremely important topic, which is passive income. And before we can get to passive income, we have to creep before we can walk. That nine to five job that most of us have to take on is the creeping process. And while we're creeping and we're starting to make our first steps, we need to set up ourselves to achieve first financial security, then financial independence and eventually financial freedom. And the key to financial freedom is to not trade time for money, which means that you don't have to be present to earn. You can be sleeping and making money. You can be on vacation and making money. So as I share my 10 passive sources of income that can pay up to a thousand US dollars per day, I want you to start getting ideas that you now can start incorporating into your life from now so that by the time you get to age 40 or 60, if you're already in your 40s, you are in a position to earn passively and get that money coming in in the same way that your bills are coming in every month. That my YouTube family is the key to financial freedom, not trading time for money. Now in sharing my 10 sources of passive income, I'm going to start with the ones that pay me the least all the way up to the ones that pay me the most. So ensure that you stay until the end and I also have a bonus for you at the end. So let's jump right into it. Now my first source of passive income is actually dividends from stocks. Now my introduction into the stock market started about year 2000 and that's what 22 years ago and funny enough I was introduced to the US stock market although I resided in Jamaica and that's because as a benefit of working as a vice president in a US fortune 500 company that was publicly traded I got stocks as a part of my overall compensation package so I got my feet wet and when I sold those stocks several years later I realized the potential of buying low and selling high and I got addicted to making money that way. Now from that experience of being able to gain from selling stocks 
I thought to myself, Hmm, why not use this as a source of income while I'm doing my 9 to 5 job? And that's exactly what I did. But at the time, I wanted to buy dividend stocks. Now these are stocks that actually pay you, I'm gonna call it a bonus or a reward at the end of the year. And this is usually fixed or variable and it's decided by the board of directors and it requires the shareholders approval. So by wanting to buy stocks that paid a dividend, it meant that I could earn two different ways from investing in stocks. One, when I sell them at a premium because I've kept them for a while with the value appreciating, and two, just by having stocks, at the end of the year, I would get this dividend payment. Now, not all stocks pay a dividend. In Jamaica, Wisinko is one of those great brands that actually pay a dividend. You can simply Google dividend paying stocks in Jamaica if you're located here or dividend paying stocks in the US or wherever you're located and you'll see a list and that will guide you as to which stocks you should be buying if you are interested in earning a dividend. Now again I remind you I'm not a financial advisor so talking to your financial advisor will give you guidance around is the dividend that the company is promising sustainable for the stocks or is it something that is just there to attract you as an investor and then they can't live up to their commitment. So you have to be mindful of that and be on the lookout for those companies who try to deceive their shareholders by hiking up dividend yields and not living up to them at the end of the day. Now let me give you an example as to how I earn from investing in stocks. Now I've always used Apple products, whether it's the cell phone, the tablet, the Mac, the I love the products and I believe in the brand. And because of that, it's natural to want to invest in it. Would you agree? The great thing about the Apple stock is in 2009, for $5.80, you could buy a share in Apple. Think about that and put it into perspective. Today, that's valued and of course the market is not performing in an ideal way. So that same year is valued at $148. And before we started to have what's going on in the market now, it had gone as high as, I believe, $179. So imagine buying at $5.80 per share and now having that stock valued at $179 or even the $148 where it's at now because of the instability in the economy. That is a two 2,400% appreciation in the value of the stock. Now let's say in 2009 at $5.80 per share, I acquired 10,000 shares in Apple. That's the equivalent of 58,000 US dollars. Today, that $58,000 purchase of stocks is valued at $1.48 million. Again, 2,452% growth. It's no joke, but I don't consider that passive income because in order for me to earn that additional income, I would need to sell stocks. I don't want to have to do that. But Apple is one of those stocks that pay a dividend. What that would mean is if I had 10,000 shares, that equates to 8,500 US dollars per year that I get just because I have shares in Apple, which would equate to 23 US dollars per day from dividend income. Now let's assume that with Apple and other investments to include with Cinco, my amount comes up to about 30 US dollars per day that I'm earning from dividends from stocks that I have. The great thing is that whether I wake up in the morning or not, at the end of the year, I'm gonna get this money, which makes it an amazing source of passive income. Now, the second passive income source that we're gonna talk about today is this YouTube channel. 
and obviously I'm still relatively new to YouTube because I got monetized in March, April, May, June. So I'm only three months after getting monetized. But funny enough, because of the niche that I'm focused on, the channel is already showing positive results. YouTube for me is not a passive income source initially because it does take a lot of time and effort to record these videos. However, after I've recorded the videos, they'll continue to get watched some videos that I recorded when I just started down this road are still getting watched and those are months ago and that's what makes it passive because you create the content and you create a library of content that will engage people and years later they'll continue to watch and you'll earn from it while you sleep or while you vacation so what I'm gonna focus on now is the passive income that will come from videos that are done in the past. This particular channel, because the niche is personal finance, the CPM is significantly more. I'll give you some examples. In May, as an example, which is only two months after being monetized, the CPM for this channel was $35.85. In June, it was $37.92, with the top performing video having a CPM of $61.48. And there were weeks when the CPM was $80.66. Now, after YouTube takes its cut from the CPM, my average RPM and what I expect that I'll make is $30.00 per 1,000 views. And again, this is what I get in my bank account. So for only 1,200 views per day, I'll make $36 in revenue. And that is the passive amount that I'm gonna consider today. Now, I know I'm not gonna stay at 1,200 views, but I always like to be conservative, especially when I'm sharing things that you can do, just to show you that there is hope and it's possible even at the minimal amount of views. But when I do get to 5,000 views per day, I'll be earning on average $150 per day. When I get to 10,000, I'll be earning $300 per day. And when I get to 100,000 views per day, it will be $3,000 US dollars per day. And as you guys know, most of that I'm gonna give back to charity and to my subscriber family. So I can't wait to get to that point in time. But for right now, we're only gonna count $36 in revenue per day, which is about where we're hovering right now. The great thing is just like with option one, where you can go out and buy stocks and earn dividend income while you are employed, you can start a YouTube channel while you're working your nine to five in anticipation of that time when you're ready to collect money while you sleep and be financially free. And as I said in this video here, you do not need millions of views to make good money on YouTube. Now the third source of passive income that I have and absolutely love is affiliates. Why do I love affiliates? Because just like you see here in the description of this video, I can pop links down there and persons globally are clicking these links and I'm earning. You can't want it more passive than that. I am a part of several affiliate programs to include Amazon Associates, which most of these links in the description are from Amazon. I have my Amazon storefront. So as person go and buy products, either using the link or going to the storefront and purchasing products that I have used, I get a percentage of the cost of that product in a commission on a monthly basis. I also have an affiliate program with Envacto, which is the application or the software that I use to edit my videos. So you see when I pop in a B-roll footage that applies to what I'm saying, or I use those photos for my thumbnail or any other music, although I do get a lot from YouTube for free, but sound effects and so on, I'm getting them from Envacto. And they're 
affiliate program is actually pretty good. I can make $20 per month for everybody who is subscribing on a monthly basis for the first one to three months. And if your subscription to Envato, like mine, is for the entire year, I can make as much as $120 US for your subscription. I also participate in several other smaller affiliate programs as well where I share links and I earn. Now let's say as an example from Amazon, my affiliate revenue is only $3 on average per product. If three persons were to click on the links in my description or if they were to go on my Amazon store to buy something, I would make $9 for that day because it's three products times $3, so that's $9 in revenue from Amazon Associates. From Envacto and all the other smaller affiliate programs, let's assume that based on the clicks that I'm getting for the links that I'm sharing, I'm making about $28 per day. So between Amazon Associates and the other affiliate programs that I participate in, my daily revenue from affiliate income is $37 US dollars. Now remember, I'm just putting links out there and people are clicking these links. You can earn from that method when you're sleeping, when you're on vacation, if you're not feeling well, whatever the circumstances, you don't have to be present to earn, which makes it an amazing source of passive income. Now, the fourth source of passive income that I use is selling products on an e-commerce platform. Now, why this is passive income is because when someone buys the product from the platform, I don't have to go source the stock or find the inventory to fulfill that order. No, I'm using print on demand or types of delivery mechanisms like that, where whenever the order comes through, it goes directly to the manufacturer of the product and they then ship the product to the customer that bought it from my website or bought it from my platform. Now, if you visit my website at odettarocketcar.com, you will see some of the products I have there, like my headband. You guys know I love headbands. I do also earn passive income from Teesprings, which is where I have branded products. And again, whenever the order comes in, I don't have to do anything. The company fulfills and deliver and does everything on my behalf and I do so with other e-commerce platforms as well like Amazon where I do sell products so if you take all of that into account let's be conservative here and let's say I can sell five products per day from all the different sources that I earn e-commerce revenue from with an average profit of about ten dollars per product that's ten dollars times five products that's fifty dollars in revenue per day from from selling products on an e-commerce platform. Now again, it's a great passive income stream because I just put those products up there on the platform once, just the photos, the description, and the price. And whenever the products are ordered, the suppliers or the manufacturers, they do the rest. This is another passive income stream that you can start while you're working your nine to five job in anticipation of you retiring financially free, whether you want to do so in your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, or even your 70s, especially if you're in your own business. So, so there's absolutely no excuses for this one. Just go out there, find products that are aligned to your brand image or find products that satisfy a need, advertise it, and you start earning. It's as simple as that. Now my fifth income source, and actually, could I say this one is my favorite? Maybe I can, because I talk about it so much. It's portfolio income. So whether I'm investing in bonds, index funds, or mutual funds, I put the money there once and I continue to earn from it. Now the average rate for our investment portfolio for portfolio income is 7% interest per annum. So with 500,000 US dollars invested, it means that we're earning about $96 per day. 
all you have to do is invest it and forget it. Now, I know that working your nine to five, you may not accumulate enough of a lump sum to invest in a bond or index funds, but there are ways to gradually accumulate money in different types of portfolio income. I, I wanna say portfolio income, why is this slipping my mind? Portfolio income instruments, for want of a better term, out there that you can then use to accumulate a larger amount that you can then invest and earn from on a quarterly basis. I tell you all the time I'm not a financial advisor, but if you want me to recommend financial advisors to you, just WhatsApp the number that's in my description, that's my YouTube subscriber number, so that you can get in touch with me and I'll share financial advisors with you that can recommend these products. The great thing about portfolio income as a passive income source is that you just invest it and you forget it and you keep earning in perpetuity as long as the instrument is performing. And of course, there's some amount of risk which you need to evaluate when you talk to your financial advisor. But as you have heard me say, and many people out there say it all the time, the greater the risk, the greater the reward. I kind of stay in the middle, however, but there are times when I will go extreme, when I'm certain that I will gain and the returns will be positive. Now the sixth source of passive income that I'm gonna talk about today is real estate investment. Now this could be you having land and leasing it out or you having an apartment, a townhouse or a house that you can rent out for the long term. I do not see a Airbnb or a short-term rental as passive income and I'll tell you why because you constantly have to be advertising you probably need to follow up to clean up and all of that good stuff I I like it and will do it in some instances but it's not for me the best source of passive income how you can use real estate as passive income is to find long-term tenants and get a company that does property management to manage all their needs. So you're not getting the, my toilet is not working calls at midnight because those are going to the property manager. So with a property manager taking charge of everything related to your property or properties, then you never have to get involved and it's true passive income. Now now with three properties with an average rent of a thousand US dollars per month, that is 3000 US dollars per month. So the passive income source per day, when you divide that 3000 by 30 is a hundred dollars per day in passive income from real estate investment. Now the seventh source of passive income is another one that I love, which is royalties. <laughs> Now you're probably familiar with the term royalties from musicians because they create a track or they record a song and they do it once and they keep earning from it in perpetuity. You do not have to be a musician to earn royalties. I earn royalties from several products. My book being one of them, an Excel budget template and pie chart that deals with money management is another one. And there are several other ways that you can earn passive income through royalties by creating products that people want. The book, I write it once. The spreadsheet, I create it once. Let's say, for example, you're a teacher and you are great at PEP or preparing persons for SATs. You create a lesson plan once and you sell it in perpetuity and you keep earning from it. Whatever your area of expertise is, you need to figure out a product that you can create, whether digital or physical, and you create it once. If it's a physical product, make sure you have somebody to manufacture it where you don't have to get involved so that it's real passive income. But if it's digital, it's naturally passive. Now, as I said earlier, I have my book, No Regrets, Just Lessons, and I have it in every single format, ebook, audiobook, paperback, and hardcover. 
The good thing about the physical book is I have print on demand with Amazon. So whenever someone orders a physical copy of the book, I do absolutely nothing. I keep sleeping. That order goes to Amazon, they print the book, and they ship it to that person. If they order a digital copy, whether it's the ebook or the audiobook, Amazon shoots that over, or Apple, or Kobo, whichever platform that the customer is buying the book from. The same thing with the budget money management tool. When someone buys that tool, the spreadsheet is just sent over with all the other pieces that go with it and that's revenue and it's passive because it's a digital product. Now I also do workshops that I transform into courses and lessons. Again, you create it once, you put it on a platform like a Skillshare or a Udemy or a Teachables and people go on and buy it or they consume your content and you either get paid for the course or you get paid per minute based on how they're consuming. Now let's talk about the specific passive income. Let's say my profit across all the different formats for my book is averaging about $10. To make 50 US dollars per day, I only need to sell five books, whether that's paperback, hardcover, ebook, or audiobook. If five people were to pay for my workshop type courses, that's about 300 US dollars per course. That's $1,500 for the month, that's 300 times five, and then per day at $1,500 per month, that's a passive income of 50 US dollars. Now let's say for the entire month, only five of the budget Excel spreadsheets and money management tool is sold, and they're sold at about $5 per unit. That equates to $75, which works out to $2.50 per day. And if 50 persons watch a lesson, for example, on a platform like Skillshare that pays per minute, and that lesson is one hour per lesson, that's 60 minutes, which is the one hour, times the 50 people, so that's 3,000 minutes that I would have had in that month, and at seven cents, because Skillshare will pay anywhere from five cents to 10 cents per minute, at seven cents, I would earn $210 per month, which works out to about $7 per day. Now, if you add up the book, passive income source, the workshops, the courses, the money management tool, and you put everything together, that works out to a total of $110 per day in passive income. Now again, this is one of those income streams that you can activate while you're still working your nine to five because it's very easy to either step away. It could even be a crayon book or what they call a low, is it low data? I can't remember. I'll pop it up down here where you put very little words in a book like a journal and sell it on Amazon. And believe me, they're selling like hot bread. The point is to create a product once and to have it being sold whether you're sleeping or awake. Now the eighth source of passive income that I absolutely love is angel investing. If you know somebody who has a great business idea and you trust them, very important, and you have the capital, let's say for example, in my case, my area of expertise is the BPO, which means in my case, I don't have to have cash as capital, I can use my knowledge as equity, which means that they can say, all right, Odetta, we're starting up this new BPO. We want you to guide us every step of the way and help us to set this up. So basically, I'm a silent partner. I'll never have a front stage role, but I'll be critical and instrumental to the setup of the company and its success. They now quantify my contribution and say, based on this oversight that you're providing, we believe it's worth a hundred thousand US dollars per year. And we need you to be actively involved for the first five years, which is 500,000 US dollars. After that, you can still act as a guide, but you don't have to be as actively involved. It means that my equity through sweat 
and it's referred to as sweat equity, is 500,000 US dollars in that company. Now with 500,000 invested, I now need to agree on my IRR. And your IRR is basically the internal rate of return that you agree to get off of your investment, whether it's sweat equity or equity in cash on an annual basis. So let's say that my IRR is 10% per annum, which is what I'm gonna make from my investment of 500,000. It means that after my first year, 100,000, I'm gonna get 10%, but it means that at the end of the five years, I'll make 10% on the full value of my sweat equity, which is $500,000. 10% on $500,000 is $50,000 per year. That broken down to a daily amount is $137 in passive income. Now, while I'm giving the feedback and the contribution in the initial stages of the company, I don't quite call it passive because I have to be actively involved. But upon that fifth year, when I take a step back, that's passive income where I'm gonna earn that $137 per day, whether I get out of bed or not. You have friends. You may know people who have good ideas. As a matter of fact, there was a time in my life when I saw someone with a great idea and I did not have the cash to invest and I borrowed a loan at about 12% because the return or the IRR was gonna be 30%. So my upside would have been 22%, which would have been worth it. So sometimes you don't have the cash up front, nor do you have the skill set to invest sweat equity. You may have to get that money from elsewhere. Just make sure that you trust the person, they're competent, it's a solid business idea, you evaluate the pros and cons, and whatever you're borrowing, that interest rate, you're making a lot more as your IRR to significantly offset what you're borrowing. Now the ninth source of income is possible for many of us. And it's basically, if you have a vehicle that you use for personal use, you can rent it out. Now I know if you have an active nine to five job, this may not be an option that you can exercise because you need your vehicle to get to and from work or to drop your children off to school and pick them up. In my case, however, I have a vehicle that because I never go anywhere with the exception of, you know, my situation that I'm managing with my son. But outside of that, that vehicle probably stays in the garage rottening down for five days of the week and I probably drive it one or two days if I'm lucky or I should say if it's lucky. Anyway, in that case, you can actually rent your vehicle out for special circumstances. I'll give you an example. So this is something that persons have approached me about from as far back as I can remember. Even when I had many, many years ago a Mercedes SUV, I would get the call from like a video producer to say, we're gonna shoot a video for a particular artist. We want a certain vehicle in the video. Can we rent your vehicle? Or they'll say, say we have a certain artist that we need to pick up they're not Jamaican they're coming in and we want to pick them up in a particular vehicle can we get access to the vehicle believe me there's a lucrative market out there you'd be surprised the key is to make sure you know and trust who you're talking to to facilitate this arrangement and that things are put in place to protect your interest at all costs. So if you have a premium vehicle or a luxury vehicle that you don't use around the clock and uh, you know you don't have any ego issues because I tell you you know on this journey to financial freedom or ego can't be at play because we will lose opportunities because we're concerned more about what people think and what they have to say than what's gonna help us in the long term so if you don't have any ego issues and you have a vehicle that's available whether you want to register it officially through a rental company which I would always recommend or whatever means you choose to go about this all you have to do is when the right producer calls you 
you can make the vehicle available for a music video you can charge about a thousand dollars or you can charge about 500 us dollars per day to rent it and usually the person is staying in the country on average 10 days because sometimes it's to record a video or you know they're here with family and they want to be able to move around so on average what I've seen is about 10 days so assuming you rent it once per month for a video that's a thousand dollars for that month and assuming you rent it once per month for an average of 10 days that's five thousand dollars so that's a total of six thousand dollars which works out to two hundred dollars per day in passive income why is it passive income because when that vehicle is out there doing whatever it's doing it's all iron at the end of the day and it's comprehensively insured and again if you register it properly with a rental company you'll have the proper insurance on it you can be sleeping and you're still earning now the tenth passive income source and remember I have a bonus for you so don't go after the tenth one but the tenth income source is to host events at your house or at a property that you own now if you have a nice house or if you have access to a nice house which means property, yard and house, you can consider this an option. And again, it's one of them that you can do while you're working your nine to five. Listen, where I'm concerned, there's no pride and ego. For the right price, well, my husband is not so receptive to this but if it if I went back to my days when I was single I would do this a lot more often where for the right offer I will just pack up myself and move into a hotel for 10 days to rent out my house for a good rate all I do is just pack up all my essentials and important things in one room and lock it and give them access to the rest of the house and the yard the pool and everything and voila I'm at the hotel living life, going to work and collecting money, right? Ego cannot be a part of your character on your journey to achieve financial freedom. So again, if you have the space or access to a property with space, whether a house and land or land alone, you can consider renting it. I'll give you an example. Per event, if we were to do it from this house that I'm sitting in, it's about 2,500 US dollars. And that includes a wedding, a party, hosting a celebrity for something special that they're having. The key is to make sure that whatever you're renting it out for, the person's renting it, they're responsible for the setup and the cleanup. So again, it's passive. You don't have to do anything other than collect your money. You can also rent out rooms in your property and move into a certain section or move into a room and rent out the house. And again, using this house as an example, it can catch anywhere from 1,500 to 3,000 US dollars per night. Let's use $1,500 per night to be conservative because that works out to about $300 per bedroom, which I know compares to other all-inclusives out there that don't even offer 50% of what they get when they rent a house. So $1,500 is very probable and it's conservative. If we were to host two events in a month, that's $5,000 US dollars because we're going at the $2,500 rate. And if we were to rent it for five days in a month, that's $7,500 dollars at the fifteen hundred dollars per night rate for the entire property so that totals six thousand two hundred and fifty dollars per month on average which works out to two hundred and six dollars per day to rent out your property or a property you have access to short term whether to host events or to visitors who are in your territory or where you live for short stints and of course 208 US dollars per day is great passive income now if you are still here at this point in time after this long video you are a real rock star Thank you for your commitment. And for that commitment, I'm gonna give you a bonus passive income source. 
What I want you to do is to write the name of this passive income source in the comment so everybody else who didn't watch the video until the end will be confused as to what are they talking about and we'll know who the true rock stars are. So write in the comments for me passive income source number 11 which is credit card cashbacks. Now you're probably thinking, but Odetta, we pay fees for our credit cards. Uh-uh. You need to make sure that the credit card that you're taking out has a big cashback portion. I'm not talking about just miles, but access to like a digital debit card that you can use to shop online. As I explained in this video here, the platinum debit card that we use whenever we use it to buy whether personal or business items we earn points and those points translate into dollars and yes we can use them for the typical to buy a plane ticket or to book a hotel or a rental car but with this specific platinum visa credit card you actually get a digital debit card and you can use it to shop online or to buy anywhere that will take a credit card online it's an amazing feature how do you turn your credit card into passive income make sure that you pay off your balance every single month so you never incur charges for interest and ensure that you're using it for every single dollar you're spending even if it's to buy a snack as long as you achieve the threshold asked by the retailer you know some of them will say you have to be spending five hundred dollars or more to use the credit card as long as you pass that threshold use your card and capitalize on the number of miles you get we use ours to pay every single bill to buy everything for personal use for business use basically there's nothing that we don't use it for because almost everybody now takes a credit card that way when we get our three thousand us dollars for the year in cash back which works out to eight dollars per day it's an amazing source of passive income because we were just spending and doing what we typically do and this money is coming in my rock stars i'm so grateful if you stayed until this time thank you for watching I hope you learned something new. You can show me that you learned something new by clicking the like button. I would really appreciate it. And I look forward to welcoming you as soon as you click that subscribe button to become a part of our rock star family where we preach financial freedom, financial security, and financial independence. And I'm gonna keep sharing on this path hoping that you'll get something from this of value that will help you along your journey. All the best, and until next time, walk good.